so here in the figure two identical semicircles are given whose diameters are two units each here we have these two lines they are parallel to each other this point is a and this point is d if we connect them then its measure is given as root a plus root b we have to find the value of a and b here we have some extra information given to us that b is greater than a and they belong to natural numbers so they are set of natural numbers so the constraint on a and b is that a and b cannot be zero because zero does not belongs to the set of natural numbers they cannot be negative they cannot be decimals so the minimum value of a or b can be 1 then 2 3 4 and so on so in order to solve this question first of all let us join these two points that means the centers also we will drop one perpendicular from the center of this uh, first semicircle so this angle will be 90 degree so why this will be 90 degree the reason is we have a theorem that if this is the tangent to the circle and this point represents the center of the circle and this is the point of contact so if we draw a line segment joining the point of contact with the center then this angle is always 90 degree so this is a theorem so using that theorem we get this angle as 90 degree now another point that should come to your mind is that this point that means the point of contact is in the figure shown collinear so why this point is collinear the reason is that we have another theorem so according to this theorem if there are two circles they are touching each other say for example at this point here they are touching each other externally so these are the center points so if we connect them then the line segment joining the uh, centers of these two circles on that line this point of contact will lie so using this property we get that this point will be collinear now moving ahead let us focus on this right triangle so here we can see that this side will be the radius of this semicircle the diameter is 2 units so this length will be 1 unit also if we see the hypotenuse this length is 1 unit the radius of first semicircle also this will be 1 unit the radius of the second semicircle so using the pythagorean theorem we can find this distance let us name this as x here so this will be 2 squared equals 1 square plus x square so 4 equals 1 plus x square so x square equals 3 so from here x equals root 3 so let me erase all these things and in place of x let us substitute root 3 now let me clean this now let us join the points a and d and likewise let us draw perpendicular from point a so this will be 90 degree and hence it will be a right angle triangle so in this right angle triangle this distance will be how much it will be equal to this length which we already found as one unit radius of this first semicircle so this will be one unit let me erase this now if we see this distance will be also radius of this semicircle that is one unit also this distance will be the radius of this semicircle one unit so entire length will be 1 plus 1 2 plus root 3 so this will be 2 plus root 3 now using pythagorean theorem we can find the length of this hypotenuse so ad square will be equal to 1 square plus 2 plus root 3 whole square so ad 
square will be equal to 1 plus let us expand this so this will be 4 plus root 3 square will be 3 plus 2ab that means 4 root 3 or we can write it as 8 plus 4 root 3 this is ad squared so ad will be square root of 8 plus 4 root 3 now after this we can write the value of ad obtained here so this will be 8 plus 4 root 3 whole in square root and in the question the value of ad is given as root a plus root b now let me clean this so from this equation we have to find the value of a and b for that let us square both sides so this will give us the square root will vanish and on lhs we will get 8 plus 4 root 3 and on rhs it will be root a squared that is a plus root b square that is b plus 2 times root a b now further we can write it as 8 plus 2 times 2 root 3 equals a plus b plus 2 root a b this can be written as 8 plus 2 times root of 12 because if this 2 is brought inside so it will be 4 inside the square root and 3 is already there so 4 times 3 will be root 12 is equal to a plus b plus 2 root a b now if we compare the structure on lhs and rhs we can see that 8 is equal to a plus b and this 12 is equal to a b so we can write this a plus b is equal to 8 and a b is equal to 12. Now we have two equations and two unknowns so we can simply apply substitution method and solve this. So we can get b is equal to 8 minus a and we can substitute the value of b here so this will be a times 8 minus a equals 12. So this will give us 8a minus a square equals 12. On rearranging it, we will get a quadratic equation a square minus 8a plus 12 equal to 0. Let me clean. Now we can solve this quadratic equation. So this can be written as a square minus 6a minus 2a plus 12 equal to 0 so a is taken as common a minus 6 minus 2 a minus 6 equals 0 so a minus 2 times a minus 6 equals 0 so from here either a will be equal to 2 or a will be equal to 6 so if a is equal to 2 then what will be b so from here we can find the value of b it is 8 minus a so 8 minus 2 will be 6 so this is okay now if a is 6 then b will be equal to 8 minus 6 that is 2 but according to question b is greater than a so b should be greater than a so we will not accept this second case so finally we will get a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 6 as our answer if you want more such videos do subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video